the story. We fully take that as we shot our shot, and if you don't do anything, it's like that's on you. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a swirl. As many as you want, straight hair. Or We're gonna react to this video. Ready to mingle. The sky's the limit. Now I date women. I got a couple up here. You guys see it? Oh, y'all can't see it on my screen, but I got a couple up here. We're gonna react to. We're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna put in some work tonight. All right. All I ask is just get the lights out. This video is going to be a video called She Belongs to the Streets. A chick leaves her boyfriend for his own father. Go ahead and live lavish. Get a peace of mind and practice no malice. Even if you don't want the cars in the palace, I'm going to go and get it. Every single day, she come with mind games and I'm ready to play. It's 2020 now. Uh. Now, why would a woman... Why would a woman want to leave her boyfriend for his father? It's simple. Masculinity. You guys have to understand the easiest thing for people in general to get today is money. Materialistic things. Everything is cheap. You can get it now. You can get loans real fast. Why you think a lot of these YouTubers are just buying all kind of cars? You can get whatever you want now because nobody's buying anything. So money is really accessible. But what women need the most is masculinity. That's the thing that women are fiending for the most is masculinity. That's why a woman like that is going to leave her boyfriend for his dad. The bad part about it is... It's her nature to do that, to seek the highest alpha. It's not in his nature to take from his son. That's something that he shouldn't have did. That's, that should have been something that's just like, uh. But what if that wasn't her boyfriend? What if she was just a side chick being passed around and then dad decided to wife up a side chick? But it don't look like that. It do look like she was dating the son and then left the son and went to the father. That's exactly what it looked like. Let's go to the next video here. This is just one where I was just like, good Lord. Chick chilling on a boat with her alleged sugar daddy. <laughs> what you guys need to understand, look at that video. You know how many ugly dudes I've seen in Miami pull the beautifulest chicks in the world? Are they using them for money? Yes. Yes. Yes, they know that. But this shows you women who sell their soul for money, they ain't got no boundaries at all. Once their souls for sale, it's over. And that's where a lot of women are at now. They're going to give in to a lot of stuff. They're not going to have any standards because they're in survival mode. When a woman goes into survival mode, she becomes moralist. Understand that. Most people who are in survival mode are moralist until they get to a certain amount of money and they get their morals back. Like that's why you see like a lot of rappers, they talk about the fuck shit they talk about the bad shit in order for the masses to like them but then when they get the money they're like hey we need to stop the violence and get back to the community we need to do all that the reason why they're doing all that is because they're no longer in survival mode the moment you get out of survival mode and you go around wolves that are still that are still starving and in survival mode you become food this is why a lot of people that's from the hood, once they get the money, they go out into the suburbs. They don't go back into the hood and spend their money because they become food because everyone else is in survival mode. This is how a woman is when she's portraying to be like she has money, like she has it going on. But deep down inside, she's really desperate. She gets into survival mode. She becomes moral -less. Next video. This one. This is one of the ones I had came across, right? It's called Gotta Know Your Place. 
And this is a side dude mad that the woman he dealing with did this to him in front of her husband. Let's watch this. And because I'm upset. I just left Walmart. And I seen my bitch with her little family. I seen you, bitch. You and your kids. You, know. you guys have to understand that this is a side dude. This is a side dude. Dealing with a girl who got a man and got a family. He's just on the outside dealing with her. Man, you're holding hands. Acting like you don't know who the fuck I am. Bitch, you could have did like this. You could have shook at me or something, bitch. You act like you didn't know who the fuck I was. You couldn't wink at me, bitch. You didn't even wink. Now I'm mad. I thought a bitch to try to play her side, nigga. Say something. I catch you guys up to speed. What he's doing is he's mad that he out walking around and the girl he been dealing with is out with her family and she acting like he don't even exist. That's how the game go. Even if it's the other way around, that's just how the game goes. She can't give up a secret. I thought a bitch to try to play her side, nigga. Say something. I thought a bitch to try to play her side, nigga. Say something. Oh, bitch. I almost snapped. You wonder why I kept bumping her boyfriend with the buggy. I Excuse me, dog. Just for future reference, I just want to let guys know. Dealing with a woman who has a man is beta. I'm just letting you that know that right now. It's beta. If you're dealing with a girl who has a man... Even if even if she claims you as the dominant one, you're still a beta male because alpha males don't share a woman with nobody. Understand that if you're willing to accept sharing a woman, that is beta. I just think you guys should know that. Pull it up in the other eye. She acting like she don't see me. Excuse me, dog. I'm shopping right where they shopping at. Everything this bitch looking for, I'm looking for. I don't even need the shit. I'm just looking for the shit, putting the shit in the goddamn basket. I thought a bitch was trying to play her side, nigga, saying something. I thought a bitch was trying to play her side, nigga, saying something. Oh, bitch, you almost got exposed today, bitch. I almost exposed your motherfucking ass. Acting like you don't know me. I couldn't get up. Bitch, you could have kept me cool for a minute, bitch. All of this is just another form of wanting what you can't have. Majority of what you see like actors, actresses, and entertainers, they, wear, they get to wear clothes specifically for them. So, the person that's watching it, the fans that are watching celebrities and stuff with clothes actually go to the store seeking that same outfit, don't get that outfit, but eventually end up buying something. You know what I'm saying? I say that to say this. This is what it's like when you're dealing with a woman who's dealing with other guys. You want something that you can't have because it belongs to somebody else. So the more you can't get it, the more you go looking for it. You didn't have to just ignore me. You kind of hurt my motherfucking feelings, bitch. All those crying nights I've been there for your punk ass, bitch. Rubbing on them old huff, tough ass fush you got, bitch. Arching your motherfucking back. You so stressed out and tired and I'm... Working the muscles in your motherfucking back. Cooking you breakfast. 
Oh, you don't remember that? I haven't ate a home cooked meal in, in over years. You don't remember that? I just been craving for a side dude cooking for a side chick in the morning is beta. If you got a side chick and you're the side dude, you shouldn't be seeing that girl for no more than 10 to 15 minutes. That's simple. For me, then you eat my shit up and tell me you gotta go home. To your real nigga. But I gotta got something for you, bitch. Here's the deal. I need shoes. I need clothing. I need gas in my car. I want some motherfucking Popeye chicken and KFC the rest of the motherfucking next week, bitch. You better show up with some motherfucking KFC to calm me the fuck down, bitch. If I don't have no red beans and rice, no motherfucking mashed potatoes, and no goddamn biscuit with the motherfucking honey in it, bitch, you done. That's what you call in your feelings. One thing that a lot of you guys have to learn, especially when it comes to women, you got to learn not to be in your feelings. Being in your feelings with a woman gives her the power. Whatever you do, a woman is always trying to get inside of your emotions. The moment she gets inside of your emotions, she control you. Why you think so many guys are weak? They have a woman's emotion raised by single motherhood would do that to you as well. Once you get trapped in an emotion, you will never win with a woman. Never. That's why it's good to be emotional list. But everybody that's emotional, they see emotional list people as being the devil. This is why I don't have any close friends. Because close friends and people around you that may love you, they need you in their life for comfort. To tell their issues to, to, to get advice from. You know what I'm saying? So they put their happiness into other people. Once you start putting your happiness into another person and, and hoping that this other person does the things right, you're done. Remember I told you, love is you accepting the negative traits of someone that someone else is not going to accept. This guy is in love because he's accepting the fact she has a man and don't want him. You is mother fucking done if I don't be able to dip no motherfucking biscuit in no motherfucking hummer and go slurp, slurp, slurp. You done, bitch. Don't you never, ever in your motherfucking life ignore me like that, bitch. All what I do for you. All the mental shit I hear and have to sit there and listen to you and communicate you about your nothing ass man. I feel you you got to understand. I know a lot of you when he just said that you relate to this. You know why? Because a lot of you guys have co-workers that you like that have sat next to you and told you what's wrong with all their problems at home. And you and that girl started to create a bond. Majority of women that are going to cheat are going to cheat with someone that they're around every day, which is typically somebody at their job. When you start to trauma bond with a woman, which is what he's talking about. He sits there. He listens to everything. She starts to confide in him. No, when she starts doing all of that, telling you the issues that's wrong with her. Remember, I told you guys, when a woman tells you that she has a lot of problems, she don't like you. She just wants you to feel sorry for her. When a woman likes you, she doesn't want to to clutter your brain with all of her problems because she's afraid that you're going to go away. But when she don't like you, you've already showed signs that you're there to stay. So now you just become a guidance counselor. You become a therapist. You up. I mentally confide in you. Could have let me use your motherfucking Walmart card or something, bitch. You could have le you, you you could have did something. You could have went over in the next aisle and said you gotta get some something and left him with the kid, bitch, and just say, hey, this ain't a good time right now. Gave me a kiss on the motherfucking job, bitch. Sorry. Remember, guys, 
when you like a woman and you like her a lot, she's conformed to you and you guys think that you have a connection. The first thing that people do is raise your expectations as to what you want out of her. The moment you and a woman have one good day together and you feel like you have a bond, you're now expecting her to act a certain way. You raise your expectations. And like I said in my video today, that's what's wrong with a lot of you guys. You've raised expectations on low value women that can never get your comprehension. You can't expect a low value woman to one day wake up and start thinking like a high value woman or start thinking like a logical woman. No, typically when women are low value and they stay low value, they're done. Most girls that are low value and somewhat work their way up with money turn bougie. I nigga lives matter, bitch. Size niggas lives matter. And if you keep on acting like a side nigga life ain't matter, bitch, boom, it's over for that good life shit. Bitch, I am ready to tell it all, bitch. I am ready to tell it. Tell it all, bitch. See, the reason why I'm playing this is because in this space, we have a lot of guys that deserve you you deserve the right to vent. And the reason why you deserve the right to vent is because you went through the relationships. You've done everything as a man that you're supposed to do whenever you're in a relationship. You have the right to vent. But when you're a side dude, when you're a side guy, you don't have the right to vent whatsoever. Hold on, man. Here we go with this stupid shit. They're always getting it, bro. Hey, y'all moderators, make sure y'all jump on them early. I'm glad I jump in and call them. Don't give it like two seconds. He going to come right back with another one. Get rid of him. But like I was saying about the side dude, when you're a side dude and you're starting to vent, then there's a problem. I'm ready to tell it. You making me angry. You better keep me a cool side nigga. Don't ignore me, bitch. Don't ignore me never, ever, ever, ever in your motherfucking life again. Moral of the story. Moral of the story here is don't become the side guy that feel like you need privileges. Big shout outs to bro life. Don't be the side dude that's trying to get privileges. You're not supposed to be a side dude at all. If you ever start thinking that you're ready to be a side dude, you need to just go your own way period all right do i have another video yes we do well y'all seen that one before get to this one here's another one this woman says and this will be the last one for tonight it's gonna be women got more game than men a bride tells all the ways they're giving you hints to shoot your shot so this girl is going to be breaking down Hints that women are giving men in order for them to shoot their shots. And this is what she has to say about it. I guess, I guess it just wasn't meant to happen. Walking by you and like maybe brushing against your arm or some shit while we do it. That's like, holy shit, we just made the fattest move. It's giving insane. It's giving mental illness, absolutely. But will we ever stop? No. So, good luck, boys. Hold on, I ain't, hold on, let go back. I didn't even see that. That must have been... You could say this wasn't true, but it is. So uh, here are some of the fucked up ways that girls will hunt that they like you. Sorry, ladies, for exposing us in advance. Literally looking at you. Like, just looking at you, and if you don't make a move after that, we're like, I I guess not. Liking your Instagram. All right, what you have to understand is, before she starts talking, what I want you to understand about a woman is, a woman is going to do an action that she's going to expect you to do. She's going to expect you to make a move and just know what she's thinking inside. So a lot of these perspectives that this girl is saying is actually delusional in a way. Instagram picture or viewing your Instagram story. We fully take that as we shot our shot. And if you don't do anything, it's like, that's on you. Thinking so she said that if she likes one of your photos on Instagram, that means that she likes you. 
But you and I know that you can have a thousand fold, you can have a thousand likes from all walks of the world. It doesn't necessarily mean that she likes you. About you and just kind of hoping you get like the brain signal. And if you don't, we're like, I guess, I guess it just wasn't meant to happen. Walking by you and like maybe brushing against your arm or some shit while we do it. That's like, holy shit, we just made the fattest move. It's giving insane. It's giving mental illness, absolutely. But will we ever stop? No. So good luck, boys. Like she said, it is mental illness when it comes to a woman. You get all the best results from a woman when you just ignore her. And as she come around, you can dictate her every move by not being thirsty. That's the key. The key with women is to not being thirsty.